Ajahn Fassa. I'm a singer, a performer, a theater creator, a writer, and a composer. And I like doing all those things separately. But right now I am focusing on bringing those things together in uh, my own hybrid style. So what that means is I'm creating a symbolic alphabet that's called the Ajabet. And every letter is not a letter, but an entity of emotions and energy. And in a call and response, through vocal landscapes, um, more traditional songs, uh, text, spoken word, and physical performance, I have a conversation with myself. So the alphabet, I see it as a trilogy. As a trilogy? Yeah. So in three chapters, and the first chapter was more like um, a theater piece that was accompanied by music, and it intertwines. So either way, no matter where the emphasis lies for that performance, whether it's music or whether it's um, more theater-based, it will always be like a universe that you enter, a total experience, which is why I like combining things. Um, so. Yeah, it, it won't often be a story that has a narrative of a begin, beginning, a middle and an end. It will be um, like a place in time that you walk into and it will be an atmosphere that you get to be a part of through very sensory uh, elements. So smell, touching, a little less touching since Covid, but okay. um, and sound. Yeah. A song that I associate with my stadium. Yeah. A, a sound, uh, yeah, <laughs> like the goat. <laughs> the goat is is like uh, for me a symbol for sure. Um, and yeah, I guess especially also the 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 chanting in the night. So the the religious groups that are chanting that are yeah singing gospel. Um, but I can't recreate that because it's multiple voices and it's a uh, it's, uh, communication with God, so it's very charged. But I will definitely remember this, waking up at night and hearing people giving everything they have to, to the sky. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, since I have Senegalese roots, um, I had several goals. So, the reason I am looking for several types of disciplines to combine is because eventually I am looking for my own language to perform rituals. The rituals now are very much focused on my own healing. Um, nevertheless, the point is eventually that people get to be a part of it, but I'm just developing this um, skill or way of communicating. <laughs> to offer this to other people, I need to know myself as well as I can. And Senegal is a part of me, so artistically I was really interested in if I could find some correlation between me and like the Senegalese art scene or the Senegalese culture, uh, or the like, tendencies that are in Senegalese creation processes, maybe they would have been different or they are different. I don't know yet because I didn't discover everything yet. Um, so I was looking, or I am looking for a correlation, and my trip is the first probably of multiple trips into seeing where the connection is. Um, I'm also here of course to discover my roots and the rituals that I want to create will be rituals that exist in day-to-day, day-to-day, um, day -day, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a word that I can't find. 
handelinge in der Straße. What's the word in English? Manners of doing things, like a ritual doesn't have to be something that is like a grand gesture by itself. It can become a grand gesture on stage, taken from day to day ways of doing things that are maybe different. And I guess I'm looking for those things that connect me with my West African parts. necessarily a typical Senegalese last name just underlines the fact that um, my roots are probably spread all over West Africa and so that my search in, in, in finding the connection is not done. I will have to continue to travel as much as I can of course with the situation in the world today um, and so places that I have in mind for that are Mauritania, Mauritania. Uh, in Mali, and we will see from there. Yeah, I mean, there has been a long period now that I that I didn't travel um, because of that, also because of COVID, and um, there needs to be a balance for sure. But I think the next step will be uh, something that I've always wanted to do, which is combining those two. So um, I would like to record my EP in the coming half year, and. Um, that EP would be um, accompanied by a trilogy of video clips that together make for a short movie. So that's a project that I would like to do in Senegal or West Africa, um, and therefore combining traveling and searching and connecting all of those things, the spiritual search as well as the artistic path. And my somewhat longer term goal, it's not like my long term goal, but like, within this and maybe three years, I would love to remodel uh, a bus, rebuild a bus into a music studio. To do that, you know, have the time of the year, travel and, and, uh, and uh, meet musicians and other types of artists and then take the material home and work on that and yeah, give it back. That's what I would love to do. I think Dakar is already not necessarily, it's not the same as Senegal, I've understood that now for myself. So my next travel will be more focused on outside of Dakar. But so for a young woman as myself to come to Dakar, I would recommend this place, <laughs> Bois d'Alidé, because it's a really beautiful bridge and it's like a safe haven to be able to explore and then come back and, and integrate. Um, and other than that, uh, huh, what would I recommend? Well, everybody's different, and so everybody's needs will be different. Um, if you are truly like me, then I would say take your time, because I am generally an impatient person, and I guess I struggle with the balance between being myself and adapting to um, be able to understand different perspectives more. So because I'm a strong personality and I like just being myself, that's not necessarily accepted immediately. So taking your time, finding the balance that is right for you in how much you want to adapt in, a, in order to connect, even if it's just gathering information and being able to listen to people because they feel comfortable with you, and um, staying yourself and being comfortable with yourself and having a sense of hope with yourself wherever you go. Give yourself time for that.